the go-to for the how to you know that you want to get beautiful Prim. Hi there Primpers and welcome to my Friday video of the week in beauty. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. Um, I came into this week thinking that I potentially might have a case of post fashion week blues but we were lucky enough to see a few amazing celebrity beauty looks on the red carpet as well as see a few amazing new collections hit counters. So without getting into too much detail I'll kick off with my first beauty highlight would be these new lip glosses that have just hit counters from Burt's Beads. Now we have covered them in depth over on the beauty counter but my favourite is the new lip shines. Now this shade is called Flutter and it basically kind of gives a really kind of soft and subtle pink tone to your lips so I'm actually wearing it now and as Amy described the best thing about them is they don't leave your lips feeling sticky at all. It's glossy but it's really kind of a hydrating moisturizing feel to your lips as well so you don't get that icky kind of sticky feeling to them and I really really love them so they come in a variety of shades you can read more details about them over on the beauty counter but they're $14.95 and they're available now as for my beauty highlight number two, um, in case you didn't catch it over in my Blush Hour blog this week, I was lucky enough to interview the creative director of Ciate, Charlotte Knight, while she was in Australia. Um, she was working backstage at, at some of the shows on the nails, and she was the one who was responsible for those beautiful white textured nails at the Ellery show. Now, for me being someone who loves nails and loves nail art, it was really exciting to meet Charlotte. Um, probably one of my career highlights, definitely. And we, along with talking about how she got started in the industry, um, um, you know, she was actually the first one to open a nail bar in Ireland um, and from that working backstage at shows, on shoots with the likes of Alexander McQueen, um, she's really had an amazing career so far. So it was great to speak to her and find out a little bit more about how she actually came up with the idea for Ciate and what we can see coming up next from them, which is some amazing collections which I can't wait to tell you about a little bit later um, in the month. But also... One thing I did say for my video today was her top tip of all time. Now, when it comes to nails, there are obviously so many different things you can do um, for caring them and painting them, and especially when it comes to nail art. But her number one was something as simple as always carrying a nail file with you. Now, I mean... I am definitely kind of in with taking care of my nails and it's something I really try and do religiously but she was saying how as soon as you get a chip on the corner of your nail or wherever it might be, make sure you file it to really kind of buff away the snag, make sure that it doesn't continue to break the rest of your nail and just smooth around the edges and it's something that you know you always think that you're going to do as soon as you do get a chip or um, a bit of a snag in your nail but it just kind of reaffirmed the fact that it's something that we all need to do when we're looking um, to really take care of our nails especially if you're trying to grow them, you know, for an event or something like that. Um, it's kind of one of her top tips. So anyway, you can read all about Charlotte in my blog. Um, I'll give you a link to it on the post today. As for my beauty highlight number three, I am awarding the lovely Kate Hudson as my celebrity beauty look of the week. Now, she always is on fire on the red carpet. She's got beautiful hair, beautiful skin, um, and an amazing post baby figure. However, um, what I loved most was her beautiful kind of bouncy blow dry and also that amazing smoky eye. So it was just really fresh. It wasn't too dark and deep. It was just that really kind of shimmering nude shades with a little bit of smokiness out to the corner. So she looked amazing, but also had some amazing nail art um, in monochrome colors which as you know is really on trend for this season um, and if it's something you'd like to see how to on I'd love to hear your comments um, but it kind of came to an almost heart shaped point in the center of the nail um, and would look really beautiful in a, any kind of array of color combinations so check that one out um, as for my beauty highlight number four one of our kind of beauty topics of the week was how much you should spend on a perfume. Now, obviously, that's a really personal decision and depending on your budget and whether payday is coming around anytime soon. Um, but Amy kind of delved into it a little bit more detail about the kind of quality that you can get um, when it varies from a less expensive perfume to a really expensive one. Um, but with all that aside, and you can read more about Amy's blog, which is really interesting, I have to mention the new Chanel D Chanel 1932 fragrance. Now, of course, it comes in a beautiful box, um, which looks beautiful on your vanity table. It's more about the actual scent itself, which obviously is the most important part. Now, it's a really kind of beautiful combination. It's got jasmine. It's got a really zesty fusion of pear and grapefruit, and it's just amazing. This one's actually an EDT, but it does really, really last the distance. Um, but yeah, beautiful bottle, beautiful fragrance. Um, check that one out. That's in stores now as well. As for my beauty highlight number five, as you would know, I love experimenting with my nail polish, but because I do change my colors so often and I'm always experimenting with different types of nail art and different polishes, um, 
finding one that actually will last the distance that I'm happy enough to have on my nails for an extended period of time is quite difficult, which is why I am really loving the new collection that has just come in from Miss Shop. Now, these are available now. They're $7.95 each, so they're a great price point, and they come in a variety of shades, but the colour that I'm really loving at the moment is this one called Just for Justin. Now, it's a really kind of creamy nude, but it's got a really slight iridescent hint to it, which sounds kind of interesting in theory, but is really beautiful actually on your nails because it kind of gives them a beautiful reflective light shine. Um, if you can see up close, this is the colour it is. And as well as that, I've also got this glitter one on my feature nail, and this one is called Fancy Free. And what I love about it is it kind of, in one coat, you get enough glitter on there to give a really rich glittery finish. You know how a lot of glitter polishes you need to keep applying coat upon coat, then it chips and that story goes on. However, this is one to two coats and you get a solid wash of glitter, but it doesn't, even though it looks like it has a really sandy glitter effect, it actually is really smooth and beautiful. So they're out now, $7.95 as I mentioned, and they come in a variety of other colours as well, including a really beautiful rich purple. So make sure you check them out in stores. Anyway, Primpers, that's it from me. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to hearing about your highlights of the week on Primped, and I will see you next week. Bye!